My name is Maddie Graham. I'm 17 years old and I'm a junior in high school. Good morning, Maddie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, the one of the main reasons I really wanted to talk to you is that you were featured recently in a big Washington Post story titled "The Foot Soldiers of the New Environmental Movement." And I, I read through it and I saw the pictures, and it was really incredible, really moving. I'm just curious how you felt about that story. Uh, well, you know, it was it was really cool to see myself in the post. Um, it made me seem a lot cooler than I am. Um, but you know, with, with any of these stories, you know, it, it really could be, could have been any of my organizer friends, you know, in that story. I think that, you know, the movement as a whole is just, the youth are so incredibly, all of us are, you know, so incredibly brave and so incredibly strong. So I really think that that story could have been about any of us, um, but it, it is pretty cool that it was about me. You know, that's always, it's kind of cool. Um, all right, so just I'm curious a little bit about your background. So how did you get started in climate advocacy and how long ago? Mm -hmm. um, so I had always been into the environment. I was in the environmental club in middle school. I've always had a garden. I like to climb trees. Um, I always like to be outside. Uh, but it was in my sophomore year of high school, the very beginning of my sophomore year of high school was the midterm elections. And we had a chemistry teacher who told us that if we wanted to make like a video um, encouraging, because I'm in a I'm in a communications magnet program at school, um, so I do film. Um, she told us if we wanted to make a video encouraging people to vote green, then she would let us out of class. Um, so that's what we did. Uh, we made a video encouraging people to vote green, and it got, I think, about three thousand views. And Bill McKibben retweeted it, which was pretty wild. And at first people just kind of wanted to talk to me about that video. And through that, I got connected into just other people in the environmental movement because I really enjoyed making that video and I wanted to do more. Um, so then I found Sunrise pretty quickly after that. And then Fridays for Future really started to pick up steam in the USA uh, the year after that. Um, from there, I've just been organizing in every way I can. Um, can you go into more detail about how organizing in particular has changed during this time period? Yeah, yeah. So uh, on the one hand, you know, it seems like organizing, you know, the physical act hasn't changed that much. I mean, we were always using Zoom. We were always, you know, most of our organizing happened, you know, not in person. Uh, and on the other hand, everything has changed. I mean, Earth Day was online, something that we've been planning for, for for half a year. We had to, you know, suddenly pack up and move it online, which, you know, I, I still think the Earth Day actions were a success. Um, and I think we did a good job with what, what was given to us. Um, but it was still, you know, it was kind of sad uh, to be sitting inside on Earth Day. Um, I know you can't necessarily be with friends and family in person, but is there any one thing that you could point to that's helped you kind of deal with this situation? Harry Potter. Harry Potter, definitely Harry Potter. I love reading. Harry Potter. Uh, reading, uh, not so much watching the films, but you know, sometimes I'll watch the films. Very guilty pleasure, but Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> so I assume you've read them in the past, or are you just kind of rereading them? Still? Oh yeah, it's got to be my hundred and fiftieth time reading them. I love Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Um, those are all the questions I have. I'm curious, is there anything else you'd like to say? Any any final thoughts or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that everyone knows that if they do want to digital strike, uh, you can find instructions for doing so at FFF, uh, I believe it's FFF.digital on Twitter and FFF underscore digital on Instagram. Um, it's very easy to take a picture of yourself with your sign uh, for that week's theme. Uh, tag FFF Digital and DM it to FFF Digital if you want to be included in the collage. So. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you participating today. Thanks. Yeah, of course.